Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Mario RPG. And uh, so we're we're continuing on here uh, in Seaside Town here, and we just got done pretty much pretty much saving everybody from being captive in the little thing there. And I'm doing a little speed up here, doing some shopping. And uh, this shop right here has all the weapons up until this point. And there, there is actually one new one that I do get. I, I do get uh, get a double punch there for for Gino there. But um, yeah, and this shop also has all the the armor stuff that's up to this point as well. Um, I double checked what I have, and there's nothing new here. I was just making sure about everything, and it's nope. Nothing new here. And you know, this is just me checking. Everybody's got the sailor stuff, which is the best one right now. So, that's pretty much it. So, I'm, I'm just checking out all the, uh, the little stores here. Since now they're open up here. This right here, I'm just uh, doing some stuff here. Getting some more maple syrup, and um, I'm getting rid of the froggy drinks because they are not useful at this point. I mean, they might save me in a pinch, but uh, right now I'm over 30, and it's not really viable to have them anymore. I had the elixirs there; they do 80, which is much better. So, so this guy right here, he does a he does a thing to where he can taste a mushroom and he can tell you like what kind of mushroom it is and if it's a special mushroom he'll give you an item in return so this could be a way to get some like rare items I guess if you get rare mushrooms there the problem is is that you have to actually go to the forest maze and get all those mushrooms there and they will be just random ones there. So it's kind of based on luck, really. So it's whatever. So this store right here, this is a, an accessory store. This pretty much has all the all the, the accessories up to this point. And even those zoom shoes that, uh, that we got in Booster's Tower, I believe. Um... So, um, if you need some more of these things there, or, or the example of the zoom shoes there, just to make everybody super fast, um, you know, and it's, it's worth a shot. I mean, weigh it out, you know. So, right now, we're actually supposed to go talk to the mayor, the actual mayor this time, and, um, and he will, well, I don't know if it's, this is the mayor or not, but this is, they, they called him Elder. As his name, but uh, this guy tells us where to go next, and the next spot is called Land's End because it is pretty much the last of the land stuff there. And now we're going to be making our way into the sky, and this is classic Mario to where there are sky levels. And I check, uh, I, I I do have more frog coins, and I, I was kind of speculating on what to get here. I was really thinking about getting that experience booster and as you can see right here I'm kind of thinking about it and I decide in the end to actually just save my frog coins and actually wait until I have enough to get the Scrooge ring because that is actually more important than than the uh, than the experience booster there because uh, I, I can grind in other spots there to get more experience here and actually in the last area there it's actually a good spot to actually grind for experience because there's actually an enemy in that spot there that actually gives you quite a bit of experience so it's pretty easy easy there so in the end there I, I don't spend anything and uh, so that's that's pretty much it here um, I believe I I go and say well, no, no I don't say real quick uh, so we just move on to the next area and uh, so this is Land's End and so this this area here, this is kind of, it, I don't want to say it's like hard or anything like that, but it, it, it gets uh, a little on the hard side a little bit because we're actually getting into some, into some territory here that is going to be like, now, 
There is a secret thing in this here, and I'm not really sure how to get it. Um, I, I gotta look it up on what, what uh, on, on these some of these hidden chests here. Some of them, uh, you gotta do something here, like this one and this one right here. There's a chest that you can't get to, and it's floating around. And you can see the little shadow there, and. Um, there's actually a platform that you're supposed to reveal and then when you stand on it for a few seconds It actually moves and goes up to there to where you can get it and I don't know where it gets at. I think you gotta defeat all the enemies. I think I'm not sure um, Or I believe you actually like it's like a hidden uh, thing that you like jump up to uh, to reveal it um, I think I'm not sure but um, It's whatever so I, I let that one in that was new uh, these next guys here, I actually run away because uh, I'm doing a trick to where you run away and you're able to jump up like so. And so we got that. So we got another Cure Koala. And that right there, you can't get to that. Uh, it may look like you can try to jump and get it, but you can't. Um, I'm not really sure where where the platform is. Uh, I'll, I'll have to look it up for that one as well. But uh, I will come back and, and get most of these uh, I, I only got like 20 uh, when I get to the next spot which is monster town um, I I will uh, I will it will tell me that I have like 20 like hidden blocks left there so it's uh, it's like whatever so so this right here I actually do a little quickly quickly get over and just barely got back over so there we go so just to actually now that I just to kind of just watch what I'm doing here because uh, it's just pretty much this is what I'm doing. There's a little little thing underneath this thing right here to where uh, you jump when you see a little puff of smoke, and then you go into in this little secret area, and this just leads uh, back a ways um, a little bit. But you know just just watch what I do here and you'll see what's going on here. Um, so what I want to do, uh, what I want to talk about right now is, um, I actually did a full week to where I did nothing. I actually didn't upload on two, on, uh, Wednesday and Saturday. And there's, um, I, I, I didn't really have a, I was, I was getting really busy because uh, I'm helping a friend of mine, uh, do some stuff here and it's just, um, kind of taking up my time a little bit and so... Um, it's really, I, I, I don't have, sometimes I don't have time to actually even sit down and, um, do like my post commentary here. So it's kind of like, eh. So, uh, so that right there, I cut, uh, I, I just cut to when, and then I'm also speeding this up here just because it's just me going all the way back. Um, I, I, what I was doing right there is uh, I was trying to get the ghost to a point to a spot to where I would jump on top of them and jump back up there and I just cut through all the battles there like battling the guys there and and um and uh trying to run away but uh it, it's whatever so this uh this here is a little mini game uh that you can do it's optional you don't have to do it um, it's a way to get some coins because uh, you do it once and you get these bullet bills that fire at you and um, you're actually supposed to like do this thing to where you dodge them and you just kind of manage uh, when to jump and all that and um, I think at some point you can keep doubling and doubling and then at some point it, it will be like you, you can go for frog coins and then you can double your frog coins and at some point I believe he gives you something I'm not sure um, it's at some point where, where he gives you probably a flower box, I would think, or something. He gives you a special item. Um, nothing like, you know, that you can reuse or anything. It was just something like, you know, like I said, like a flower tab or box or something. Um, I don't know. I, I might look that up. I'm not going to do it right now because it, it's just going to waste time and it's not really something I need to look at. Uh, it's whatever. So this little, little section here... Um, uh, so this right here, this little cloud showed up. This is actually a special enemy um, that shows up randomly. And um, if you try to run into it, you get this uh, battle right here. And it looks like there's nothing there, but if you use... Well, I use Bowser's uh, little terrorize attack here, and it actually does reveal the enemy. 
And uh, so this is a poison gas enemy. I I, I don't know what this thing is. Um, it, uh, it does look like uh, Bowser's poison gas attack that he gets a little bit later. Um, and in fact, uh, I do believe he gets that uh, his next level up. So um, it's kind of weird. Um, so this guy has quite a bit of HP. Um, I, it does take me a little while. This actually kind of counts as a, I guess, a mini boss or something like that. Because this guy's like a, this is a rare encounter with this guy here. And there are several spots that you can encounter him. And I'm not really sure. I, I think it's just a, he's just a means of getting experience or something. Because I think he gives you quite a bit of experience um, when you defeat him. But, um, the strategy I did was. Um, I had Bowser just kind of attack, and I just kept having Peach be the healer. Just kind of the usual stuff there. Um, I Since I got stuff on Peach there that prevents her from those special attacks there, it's pretty much... Uh, she can't really be touched, uh, per se. I mean, she can get hurt, but it wouldn't, uh, wouldn't do anything. So... Um, I, I basically just have Bowser on standby if, um, because he, he, he pretty much has high defense there, and he, he uh, well, apart from that, uh, I mean, he has the highest HP there, so he's more likely to survive, and, um, I pretty much kept it to where Bowser could be the one to revive somebody if he has that ability, and, um... So, like I said, uh, pretty much Peach is untouchable right here because she's immune to all special, m you know, magical attacks there. And so it's just pretty much uh, having Bowser attack and Mario attack, actually. And just keeping, keeping everybody healed. And if Peach doesn't have anything to do, just have her attack. And, and as you can see, she's, she's fine. Uh, she's pretty much untouchable at this point. I don't, I don't think there's an attack that actually hurts her. And there we go. You do that, and that actually does count as a, um, an emulator achievement. And you get, uh, 30 points for that. So, Mario levels up here, and I, I do believe I do, um, his, his, uh, star attack, uh, one there. Yeah. And, uh, so also... Milo levels up here. And for him, I believe I do the HP. I might might have done the star. I'm not sure. But I think I do the HP because I, I was like, well, maybe get his HP up there. But So what we're supposed to do here for this section is we're actually supposed to fight these guys right here and then go into the little whirlpool that it was in and it, it kind of transports you to... A little thing there. It's kind of like a maze, I guess. Um, but it's kind of like you have to go in these things here, and it makes way to where you need to go. And uh, these guys are not too hard to beat. Uh, you can probably beat one with all three of them if you do enough damage. Um, it's really between Mario and Bowser, they can pretty much take them out with them. Uh, I think Peach just helps with adding on to that. And so, that's pretty much it. Uh, so, then from from now on, I will be cut, cutting out the battles uh, with these guys here. Because it's just basically the same same stuff there where we fight the three, three guys there. And I got my pick, up, pick me up there back from the other thing there. So, it was cool. Okay, so Gina leveled up and he got that Gina World. Now, Gina World is actually kind of buggy uh, in some sense. Because it, it could actually take off... 9,999 damage if you do the action command right. And there are actually bosses and other enemies that would work on. Um, and it's it's kind of a little bit OP. And uh, I, I don't think I'll be utilizing that like that. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if I'll like exploit that. Um, but maybe. I don't know. So, if you go over here, once you get to this point here, go and talk to this mouse again. You see him here. And um, then he tells you that you can't go any further. And we need to go underground to Monster Town. So, we got to go through the little 
uh, little sand guy there. And once you go underneath that, then then we're we're on our way. And we'll be saving a little bit. Uh, actually, we'll, near the end of the video here. And uh, so Peach levels up here, and I do believe I do HP because I, I need to get her HP up there. And um, th this is pretty much it. Once I go through this uh, sand hole there, there's a save point, and I will continue on from there. And so that's pretty much it for this video here. So anyways, that's the end of this video here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And also follow me on Twitter. And I will catch you guys in the next video. So peace.